I have a patient, and we'll call him Randy. He thought his knee pain was coming from his knee. Until we figured out that it was actually coming from his sciatica, we weren't able to fix it. But in this video, I'm going to show you the three things that we did and that we changed in order to fix his knee pain. There are things that you can do on your own at home as well. Stick around. Randy's knee seemed like a straightforward case of osteoarthritis. However, he wasn't making a lot of progress. He'd have good days and bad days, but overall, the, the needle wasn't really moving. We decided to dig in deeper. Randy let me know something that he hadn't mentioned yet. He said, hey, sometimes this pain goes down into my shin or the side of my calf. Sometimes it goes up into my thigh. Sometimes there's a little bit of numbness and tingling involved, and it's really, really achy. That didn't actually sound like typical osteoarthritis of the knee. Most conditions of the knee, if it's something specific, you're gonna be able to point to where it's hurting. It's not typically gonna spread down into the, into the shin area or up into the thigh. We made some tweaks with Randy that were very effective, and I'm gonna teach you what those were. The first thing we're doing is called a nerve floss. I will now demonstrate the sciatic nerve floss or nerve glide. Go ahead and lay down on your back on a comfortable surface with your knees bent and your feet flat on the surface. The sciatic nerve comes out from your lower back, through your butt, down your leg, past your knee, all the way down into your feet. And you can get pain anywhere along that area, um, but it can be confusing because sometimes it's just in the knee and it's an aching sensation right around here. It can be burning as well. Uh, this can be really effective for that specific pain. Lay on your back and slowly extend your left foot towards the ceiling and then back down. Speed is not what you're going for, you're going for control. It should almost be like your leg is moving through water, nice and controlled. As you bring it up, you're gonna feel a stretching sensation in the back of your leg, that's what you're looking for, and you wanna hold it for a couple of seconds and then bring it down. We're not looking for sharp pain or anything intense. If you're getting that, you definitely wanna stop this exercise, it's not for you. Keep doing that. One way that you can make this um, more effective or bring it up a level is once your leg's extended, you can point your uh, toes towards your head and then away from you, and then back and forth. That's gonna create some additional movement of that nerve. And if you have any restriction of that nerve around the knee, that's gonna to help to free that up. Another thing you can do to take it up a level is slide to the end of the surface that you're on until your head can hang off comfortably. At the same time as you're bringing your leg up, lean your head backwards and look back. And then as you bring your leg down, bring your head up. Back and forth. That's going to provide even more travel for that nerve as it glides through its path. The next thing we did for Randy is what's called a standing back bend. All you're going to need is a belt. Grab your belt, take it off, and put it right there at the small of your back. Apply some gentle forward pressure. Bring your hips forward and slowly lean your back backwards and look up towards the ceiling and hold for two seconds. Come back to the to center and then slowly do that again. One, 1,000, two, 1,000. This is not fast, this is not rushed. It's a very gentle movement. Stop if you're feeling any pain, this shouldn't hurt. Just a nice, light, gentle stretches is what you should be experiencing. Once you've done that, take the belt and go up one inch and repeat. As you're moving backwards, make sure that you're not holding your breath. You wanna just keep having gentle, relaxed breathing. Once you hold your breath, you get tense and tight, and it's gonna be counterproductive for what we're trying to accomplish. Go ahead and move up a third time. Find that next segment and move backwards. You have five lumbar vertebrae. This is gonna target each one of those twice, and you can repeat this every hour on the hour. Um, it's one of those things that's really hard to overdo. You just wanna not force it, not go too fast. If you're feeling sore, if you're feeling pain, you wanna stop, but this is a really good way to get mobility in those discs, to take the pressure off the sciatic nerve, and ultimately help you relieve your knee pain. This next exercise is my favorite. Um, find a nice comfortable place where you can lay down on your stomach and just come up to just like I am here on my elbows. 
you want your spine from your head down to your tailbone to be in one straight line and you should feel a very comfortable relaxing stretch there in your lower back and really this is all you do is you just sit here you want to hold this for 15 to 30 seconds if you want to bring it up a level go ahead and look up slightly and you'll feel a little bit more stretch there in your lower back it's very comfortable it's very relaxing and that's all you're going to want to do for that first day is you can do this two or three times for up to 30 seconds the next day i want you to think about how you're feeling if you're really sore if your knees hurting worse then you want to give this a break but assuming that your symptoms haven't peaked and haven't gotten worse, then you're safe to go ahead and do this again. After three days of no increase in symptoms, I'm gonna show you a couple of ways that you can do to bring this to even the next level. After you've gotten comfortable coming up to your elbows, the next step up is to actually fully extend your arms, like so. Um, still, it should be very comfortable. I'm looking for a comfortable stretch in my lower back, and I'm gonna hold this for a couple of seconds. And then I'm going to come back actually all the way down to my stomach. And I'm going to repeat. And all the way back down. And I'm going to do this 10 times. Uh, same instructions. Do it 10 times in one day and see how you feel the next day. As long as your symptoms aren't getting worse, you're not in more pain, or your pain is not going further down your legs, you're good to go. That's a concept of centralization. With all three of these exercises that I'm showing you today, you want the pain to be climbing from your knee up to your thigh, up to your butt, and up to your lower back, not the other way around. You don't want the pain to go from your knee to your mid-thigh down into your feet. That's the wrong direction. If you're having any of that, discontinue what you're doing and go see your, your provider. But assuming that the pain is, is not getting worse and it's preferably getting better and it's climbing up your legs, um, then you can actually, on day three, you can increase this to two or three or four sets of 10 with the press-ups. I would do 10 press-ups every hour, three or four times a day and see how that goes.